But today, if you look at it today, right, we have actually kind of a close to 40 billion dollar import happening for the electronic goods. A lot of 40 billion dollar is expected to go to around kind of a 400 billion dollar. Right? Now, this 400 billion dollar import after in the next seven years could actually be much higher than the oil import bill that we will have. That means we'll have balance of payment crisis. Now, why? Because we have to design products for electronics, semiconductor as well as embedded in India. If you can design and make in India, we'll be able to avoid the import and thereby make in India will be successful. So to make that happen, we have to have people, students who are employable. Today, students are not employable in the VLSI industry. They don't know the current state of our technology. They don't use the state of our tools and that makes industry spend a lot of money on the training and upgrading them and that hurts industry in terms of how much they can grow and that growth low sub growth is creating more problem for the growth of electronic industry manufacturing and design in india so it's important that we actually get more employable students somehow and take care of it so there are in, if you look at the semiconductor industry semiconductor industry has two main areas ES and ESDM which is called electronic system design and manufacturing manufacturing skilling is going on and the government is working a lot on that the most important is system design electronic system design in that you have design for chip design and also board design in chip design is a significant shortage today which is basically kind of a jobs like RTL design verification PD and log design and log layout all these areas the students are not even aware of the latest technology and latest tools so that's the area which is really lacking in embedded system design the embedded software is okay till it's not that bad as embedded hardware design board design and actually at a high level kind of architecture i think this is the areas where there's students are lacking significant knowledge and that is creating biggest gap for the industry If you ask me, uh, okay, skill level gap is very high because students take anywhere from one, one year to two years to actually become a ramp up on the job and start performing. And that is a huge amount of time when the cycle times of products have gone from three years to less than one year, I think. So that gap is huge. So government has been has created a NSDC, National Skill Development Corporation, which is supposed to get, address this gap. But they alone cannot gap, uh, bridge the gap. I think a lot of work is happening in the manufacturing sector, skilling. In design, it's very difficult to do skilling. It is basically kind of a higher level kind of a skilling generally works very well for the kind of a uh, manufacturing jobs, testing jobs, servicing, because that's where the skill is required. But if you look at the kind of a trade, like a kind of a higher level skill, which is like a analytical skill or synthesis or design, that requires tremendous multiple years of effort. So engineers need to really be developed right from second year onwards in that. So IESA, Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association, created talent seek. And what we are trying to do is basically finding a model or structured intervention where industry and academia can partner together and transform the employability of students by giving them the industry projects. But because students were not ready for industry projects, you make them industry ready by giving industry courses and thereby giving industry courses, industry projects and thereby making them ready for the industry. That employability IAS is working on it.